Hey, what's going on, guys? Once again, it is me, Mark Easy, a.k.a. the DJ Day Trader. That's right. It's been a minute, but I'm back. Yes, I had to get my gigs done and get my paper up and all that good stuff. So definitely uh, apologize for being away for a while, but I'm back and I want to put out some more videos, some more great content. Now, check it out. If you're trying to become a better day trader, if you want to be more consistent with your trades, you want to be more profitable with your trades, well, so do I. So why not take this journey with me? And along the way, I can teach you some uh, patterns and setups that I've learned and I've discovered that made me some money and also can make you some money. So definitely want to check that out. So don't forget to smash those buttons for me. That's right. If you like the video, click like. Also subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. If uh, you want to know the next time I put out a video or if I go live, uh, you can definitely know all about that. So let's get into today's uh, video. Now check it out. A lot of people been hitting me up about the scans I've been putting out there. All the stocks that been hitting my scanners and they say, Hey, what's up with these scans? Can I get them? Well, I can easily give them out to you guys, but I figured why not teach you guys how to build your own scans. All right. So this is what I do. I use think or swim. I know a lot of you guys use think or swim uh, platform for your charting as well as everything else. So. Uh, that's what I use. So I build my scans in there. Now, when it comes to scans, what I do is try and reverse engineer a scan by that. What I mean is I think about what I'm looking for on a chart and then build the scan from that. So this uh, one scan people are asking for is actually like a overextended scan. It's like when these stocks are just gapping, gapping high up and we're looking for some kind of first red day or some kind of pullback on the stock. So when you look at the chart, like this one right here on uh, MDCO, you can see that the trait a stock like this may have is that it's overextended from this blue line, which is the nine EMA on the daily chart. So you can see how far it's extended. So why not look for that? So we can build a scan that looks for stocks that are extended way above the nine EMA. And if you want to know how far you can just double check here. All you got to do is use your drawing tool like this. You click here where the 9 EMA, you click the close of this candle and you can see right there that it is 11.72% away from the 9 EMA. So you might want to look for our stocks that are maybe 10, 9, 8, whatever you prefer, but uh, well extended off the 9 EMA. So let's get into the scan. So what do you do? You click up here on your think of sim. You're probably on chart. So let's click on scan. And then you see all these add filters for stock, add filter for options, add a study filter, fundamental filter, add a pattern filter. There's a billion scans you can, uh, a billion filters you can put on to find a scan, but let's build a basic one for now. So the first filter I want to add on is uh, add a filter for a stock. You press the button, it pops up right here. And what I'm looking for is last. So basically last is looking for the last price that the stock traded at. So it has a minimum. So let's just put $1 there and a maximum. If you want to trade a stock up to $100, let's just put that in there right there and we're good. All right. Next, what I'd like to look for is a stock that has a ATR of over a dollar or two. So that's the average true range. So what we can do is click this add study filter, click the pen right here. What I delete the default setting, press add condition, look for the study, which is the ATR. It pops up and we look for is greater than the condition. We'll put the value and we're looking for $2. So we say $2 and we can save it. We also can uh, change this condition, which is the length. So basically it is the time frame. like say 14 would be 14 days. So 14 days, this stock has traded with an ATR greater than $2. So let's just put 10 days cause that's like two trading weeks. So let's say the ATR trades greater than $2, the average true range. So it moves $2 in a day, either up or down. And it has done that the last 10 days. So we'll save that. Press OK. And the next study I'd like to add, let's do the same thing. Add a study. Click the button. Delete that. Add condition. Go here again. Study. And what I look like. And what I. And what I'd like to look for 
and probably everybody does is for stocks with volume so we'll type in volume and we'll scroll down volume average that's what we're looking for volume average is greater than or equal to we'll put a value let's say nice even 1 million shares that's 100 1000 10000 100000 1 million just wanted to make sure i have enough zeros there and also again the length so how many days did you want that trading over a million so 30 days 20 days let's just put the last 30 days so the last month it's traded at least a million shares a day we'll save that we'll press okay and then the last thing you want to look for is the moving average scan so what we can do is click study filter we'll click the drop down box popular studies moving average scan so we see the close which is the price it closed at is 10 percent above nine not simple but exponential moving average on the daily chart make sure this is on daily you can click down you can pick whatever uh time frame you want but we want the daily and we want all this to be daily as well so right there we got everything we need looking for stocks between a dollar and a hundred dollars the atr is greater than two dollars volume average is 1 million or more for the last 30 days and the current price is 10 percent above the 9 ema so we got our scan set up so let's hit the scan and see what comes up fsly so let's go to the charts let's type in fsly and as you can see it is extended from the 9 you want to know exactly how much we can double check hit the line tool hit the close of the day which is the top of the candle top of the body of the candle that is 19.64 percent so definitely falls into the criteria over 10 percent also if you click here the atr is two dollars and 23 cents so well above a two dollar atr it traded three million shares today so it also fits the volume criteria. So it fits all the criteria. And of course it is between one and a hundred dollars at $27. So it fits all the criteria. Only one came up. If you want to adjust things, you can always like change the ATR. Say if we do that and we pick only a dollar, I'm sure we'll come up with more tickers than just one. I hope let's just get out. See, there you go. Also, RKDA, MDCO, PDD, CBLK. Let's just check a few just to make sure it is correct. CBLK. See how it gapped up way above there. So we can check again. Once again, nine tool hit here We're about 9.39. I'm not exactly so about 10%. Not exactly, but we're just looking for stuff that scans up. ATR is a dollar and 16. Look for the scan. What did it trade? 3 million shares. So yeah, it all fits the criteria. So you just built yourself a scanner looking for overextended stocks. You want to save it. You click these three lines right here. You can put save scan, name it, whatever you want to name it. Mine is called easy nine EMA overextended, whatever you want to name it, you click save. You sure you want to say, well, I already saved it, so I'm not going to do it, but you know, you get the gist of it. All right. It's all good. That's how you build your scan. I got a lot more scans. I'll actually leave the link for this scan uh, in the description below in case you want to uh, check it out and load it up into your uh, think or swim. So, so just look for the link in the description below. All right. All right. That's going to make it a wrap for this video. Like I said before. <laughs> Be sure to smash those buttons for me. If you like the video, be sure to like it. If not, comment and tell me why you didn't. Click subscribe. Also hit that notification button. I'll let you know when I got some new content and some new videos. All right. So check that out. Don't forget, it's me, Mark Easy, aka the DJ Day Trader, signing off. Till next time. Aloha.